Hello. Um, this week, in honor of the official Magic Online release of this set and the upcoming Pro Tour, and the recent Grand Prix that I did not do the best at, uh, I'm going to be drafting Magic Origins. Uh, the format is fairly tempo-intensive for those who haven't drafted it. Uh, not quite Zendikar level. You can block, uh, but it's you, you have to be able to get on board quickly. Uh, especially because the renowned mechanic cascades out of control real fast. So, <clears throat> this rare is great. Um, it's just 1 4 death touch is huge, uh, and it attacks for a reasonable amount. Uh, looking at the other cards in the pack, uh, this pack's actually really good. Um, this is a good card. It's just like big giant flying angel, obviously, good and limited. Shock's obviously a good card. S uh, Sergeant's obviously. A good card. Um, the card that it reminds me of is Kitsune Blade Master. That card was a beating in combat in Kamigawa Limited. Um, and Throwing Knife is pretty good. Um, <clears throat> it's like a little expensive to move around and stuff, but it does a lot of good stuff. Uh, Stalwart Aven also. There's just like a lot of good stuff going on in this pack. Uh, not going to pay too much attention to the signals. Just going to take this rare. Just very good. Just brick walls a lot of stuff. It's uh, it's something that can help you break serve, which is pretty big in this format. You know, if you're on the draw on three, this just blocks everything that costs less. It blocks a renowned token free blade, and it just kills it. Oh well, I'm taking this card. Um, this is the myth. The well, one of the mythic uncommons of the set. Uh, Whirler Rogue is pretty much just Clo uh, Cloud Goat Ranger, or um, there's the rare Pian Kiran Nalar, and this is just the same card almost. Um, it might even be better in some cases. Uh, shocks are nice, but like just giving something unblockable on the spot is really huge. Let's see. Uh, we also see some white and blue flowing. I'm not going to worry too much about sending signals. The cards in this set are pretty strong. Uh, unlike dragons, there's not this huge power disparity, so you don't have to cut and get a bunch of great cards. I'm just going to take the best thing around. Um, and not going to worry about signals with a rare missing from the pack either. Next best card after that might have been the Bonds, though some people I know really like Jesse and Thief. Uh, so we can either take cards that jump out at me. Uh, Despoiler, I have not yet played with, but seems good. Um, it's a 2-mana 3-power attacker, pretty solid. Uh, this card has overperformed against me at the Grand Prix. I lost like 2 matches to it in draft. Um... This card's solid. Not, I think that card's like a tier below this. This card's okay. I'm not super excited to take it unless I already have a Suppression Bonds. And this is kind of like the really aggressive pick um, to see what happens. There is an Elf deck. Um, I kind of want to take it and see what happens. Yeah, I don't. I think that uh, taking Farika's Disciple is like the more open pick, but I think there's a higher payoff for taking the Shaman. This pack is not very exciting. Uh, the best card is probably Grasp of the High Romancer. Um, everything else is pretty much replacement level. I'm just going to take the two drop. Uh, just having access to those is nice. Maybe I should take. I don't really just want to take. I don't think Grasp is a strong enough white signal. It's like probably the fourth best white common, and that's like not good enough at fourth pick. I'll just take the somewhat on color card. <sighs> this pack is kind of trashy. There's not a lot of black, but I can't really read too much into that. It's more, you have to read into what is there and not what isn't. Uh, this pack also not very exciting. You take Bonded Construct. That's a fine attacker. Can move into red for Majoring Bully, which is like a mediocre card. Okay, staking a claim. This is probably better than Prickle War. Very willing to abandon my early picks in this format. They're not, I mean, Whirl of Rogue is very good, but it's not like that much better than the replacement level card. Or, no, that's not what I mean. It's not that much better than, like, just getting a bunch of cards that are good.
It's not even like a really good tell as to what's open. Okay. <clears throat> I'll do it. Yeah, it's green. Black doesn't appear to be open is the only problem for this. But the black cards and elves are usually kind of whatever. I can pick up like one or two things that matter. Uh, yeah, this pack's pretty mediocre. I'll take the spider. It's an okay magic card. I think Force Mage is better than the one drop. Not too excited. Like, not having access to that one drop isn't a make or break kind of deal. There should be another one coming around. I don't want a ton either. Yeah, I've seen, like, basically no real blue, so I probably am not going to whirl a rogue people. Probably going to get a lot of black uh, on the way back around. Uh, it seems pretty cut here. I think, based on that Wheeling Yevis Force Mage, I'm definitely supposed to be green. Uh, uh, what else was in this pack? There was the Fiery Impulse. And... Uh, was there a Red Uncommon in this pack the first time around? I don't think so. The fact that that card wheels... Feels like a big signal to me. I don't really want another recluse. I don't mind sidearm. I think sidearm's pretty, pretty clutch. At I'm gonna take the elf just for the synergy. Dark dabbling's good, but uh, sidearm's like pretty clutch in like leveling up random crappy creatures into something relevant. Or elves so far. <sighs> we didn't really pass any other elf synergy cards. We passed a Yeva's Force Mage and an Archer. So I don't think anyone's going to try to cut a Messenger from us if it's opened. I could have passed on the Sergeant and taken a Guardian Automaton. But that card's like pretty average. Oh, well. Re that pack had like nothing in it the first time around. And the fact that there's a semi reasonable green card still in it is like. A pretty big sign to me that no one's just like, oh, look, there's like a green card I could play out of nothing. Let's take it. That ah, card's not very good. So yeah, I should definitely be in green. Don't know if I should be in red, though. Yeah, that's actually a magic card against a green deck. What I really need here is like a Reef Soul and an Unholy Hunger. Uh, well, I'll take this Reef Soul. This card, even though I'm like an elf theme deck, it's rather unexciting. Uh, it doesn't help you stabilize games that you're losing to 3-3s. Three should remember this is a card. I think I passed one Undead Servant other than that one. I think the Empath might table. We'll see. I'm not... Too high on that card. It's okay. Just like it's a two two four four mana, which is a lot. Putting you up a card is fine, but you know the fact that it's not even guaranteed to do so is pretty big. Well, if I'm all in, I'm all in. Uh, tragic arrogance, just right around the table. Who cares? I'll play against it, maybe. It's like just barely not deep enough for me to think that this Shaman will table, so I'm just going to take it. 
Uh, I'm going to take the Elf, I think. I do want a Titanic Growth, or Might of the Masses. But I think I'm now at the point where hitting this synergy is important. I think I can wheel to gather the pack. Uh, Visionary is the best card for my Elf deck so far. 2-3 Ghoul is also the next consideration. There's another Servant. Um, I'm going to take Overrun over give his Force Mage. Uh, this card is very powerful. It's just like, it's not overrun. You don't always win the game when you cast it. Uh, but it's still very powerful. And Yavis Force Mage is kind of like, I am glutting up a bit on the threes. I'd like to spread my curve a little bit. And Force Mage is kind of replaceable. Whereas having access to an overrun in your deck just like gives you some games that you just shouldn't have. Uh, I'm just going to KO this Void Mage. That card's just, like, a little too good to let ride. I could use access to a Macabre Vault, but I'd rather just not play against multiple Void Mages if I can help it. So I could use, ideally I get a pump spell, a removal spell, uh, I don't mind this card as a finisher uh, in this deck. It's not the best all the time, but it does work. This is not a Nisus Pilgrimage deck. Two Fairy Miscreants draft, or in the draft so far, not enough for that deck to be a thing. So yeah, I could use like pump spell... Gather the pack, another removal spell, another pump spell, and like a rock smallers, a Farika's. Like, I'm just thinking about like the best things I could fill up my curve with. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elves. I could probably use like three more. So I could probably use like the empath that might table. Uh, a Sylvan Messenger would be the nut, but I will just see if one's open pack three at this point. Right? Or 14. Oh, there's still one more pack this pack, right? Before we hit, uh, or one more unseen card, or one more unseen pack. <sighs> kind of want to just archer people. I think two, three goals a little better, and by a little, I mean a lot, but. We're going to gun it. May as well, you know, just go hard. Why not? Big dumb six drop is uh, important to have access to, like, something on this level. Like, the difference between this and a rock smaller is smaller than you think it is in this context. It's just some big thing I can draw. Uh, I actually like that card a lot. This was the gather the pack pack, wasn't it? Or is it the next one? Well, it's not coming back for sure. Uh, it's one of these two cards I want to KO. I don't mind leaving both blue cards and letting someone make a choice. Uh, I'm sure I might sideboard a Vine Snare. I'm okay passing an Aether Grid. Knight Snare is a magic card. So it was that 3-3 Flyer, surprisingly. But That pack was not the nicest to us, but we did get another Shaman. Uh, elf Count is... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Just looking for removal and pump and elves. I think green might be a little less open than I thought it was. Well, um, If any deck's an evolutionary leap deck, it's the Shaman of the Shaman Shaman deck. This card's also just very good. I want to take the leap and see. Oh, this is a pack. Jeez. 
Okay. Um. I think I want the Cruel Revival to have the split removal, but I think it's close. I don't actually have zombies to get back. I just want, like, a 5-mana kill a thing card. Rather than just all Reef Souls in this deck. The Lanowar Empath didn't wheel last time? That's a bad sign for me. Yeah, I'm going to take the Titanic Growth. Six uh, six mana Flyers, good too, but I think it's more interchangeable than like having a Pump Spell. Shipping that Will Breaker is pretty awkward. Uh, that's fine by me to have that card in the pack. Shaman as a 3-2 isn't the worst. It's not great, but... I don't think I want Revenant. I think I'd rather a Bloodsucker. I already have my, like, graveyard-dependent creature. I guess this one is, like, actually a creature that matters if I don't have a full graveyard, so it's not a huge deal. Another copy of this card would be the Dream Boat, but I have my doubts. Really, any two drop would be fine. Um, it's between. Uh, I don't really like Angel's Tomb here. I have a ton of threes already. Kind of want to just take Zendikar's Royal. That card's not unreasonable. <sighs> that was a close one. Need a four, and that's like the best one to have at this point. Uh, it's better than the summons. It's better than Nisa's Revelation, which is really just going to be like seven mana draw a card in this deck. Husk isn't bad, but Disciple's just really good. Necro Summons is also fine, but I don't think this is the deck for Necro Summons. Okay. That was a good last card to have. Last new shot at it. Anything. Oh, wait, there's another shot, and they just got the best card possible for my deck? Wow. I guess I miscounted by one. Yep, 38. <laughs> Let's play 15 creatures. Yeah. How many elves? One, two, three, four, five. Well, okie dokie. Uh, Rabbit Bloodsucker, you have been downgraded to the role of get out of here. Dark Dabbling, uh, I don't really need another combat trick like that. Uh, Brawler's Plate's actually not the worst Cyborg card in matchups. Gosh, I'm short like an elf of like this like, well, 11 is kind of, yeah, you're off the team too. 11's really the sweet spot, but... I don't mind Waltz. No one's in that color combo. I'm just going to ignore that that's there. thought I had plus one elf on this. What am I not counting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what it was. I was not counting... Uh, I don't know what I wasn't counting. I was counting bad is what I was doing. Yeah, we're about like one elf short of the uh, ideal elf deck, but I think I can live. I think the power level of this deck is pretty high. Um, we have like our three removal spell quota. We've got a Zendikar's Royal to go late with. We actually have an Evolutionary Leap too. Um, I don't remember passing an elf for the Royal, but it's possible if I did, that was wrong because I already have a late game card or two. The fact that the Mauler's Wield there was like just mind-blowing to me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is a card I'll hate draft. I'm 
Macabre Waltz is like not unconsiderable for our evolutionary leap deck to like re up on shamans. Uh, I don't really want Pilgrimage. I don't have like enough royal nonsense going on for that. Okay, I think this is the 23. We do have a couple stinkers, but we have uh, a few ways to level them up. So like three, three solid ways, four, like four or five ways to make them matter. Six. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of ways to make these thorn bows matter. Um, head basic lands. That can't be right. I think I need eight here. I think, so all of my twos are green, but the black cards being one drops and three drops. Yeah, I don't mind nine, eight in favor of green here. Uh, let's take a look. This might be a deck where a second sidearm is warranted. Well, that's cute. We actually have an enchantment for this dork. Uh, I didn't even count Reef Soul on my twos. That's really nice just to have. I guess Zendikar's Royal is like almost a creature too. But if I'm going to cut a creature, I think it has to be a non-elf. I think that Hitchclaw Recluse adds a little too much to my deck for it to be cuttable. I don't want to cut Herald. So I have 15 creatures, 9 of which are elves. We have Hitchclaw, which is really important. Stupid, rare, Graveblade, uh, unbeatables. Uh, Farika's Disciples are very good. Rock Smallers are very good. And the Herald's kind of necessary. So I don't really want to cut a creature. Um, for the sidearm. Even though I have like th four things that are significantly better with the sidearm on them. Sham shamans as well. I have a few things. Why does Sylvan Messenger trample? Just why? I'm Why? Anyways, I think this is the deck I'm submitting. Remember, I have Night Snare, Rabid Bloodsucker. I've got a decent sideboard. So, yeah, this looks to be uh, a reasonable deck. I probably could have had a better deck if I didn't go as hard on Elves. But, um, I guess at the same time, if I went less hard on Elves, I think that it's possible that someone else would have ended up in Green Black. And it would have gotten interesting because I might have moved into Green Blue for those two crises. But I think I can live with this uh, this 40. Uh, 